everybody, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I'm here at my shop, we're working on a Sunday. This is one of my team members, Amanda. Go ahead and let me know in the comments section where you are tuning in from. We are at my shop in Gainesville, Florida, and we are just working on some projects, so we thought we would go live. Hopefully you can see me and hear me, so I'll wait for a couple people to kind of tune in and let me know that the audio is working good and that you can see me and hear me, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I see a couple people tuning in. I know it's early, it's a Sunday. You're probably home in your pajamas, or if you're not seeing this, you're probably at church somewhere. Oopsie. All right. Okay, great. Fina says she can hear me, great. Hi, Kay. Hey, Margaret, good morning, Vaughn. Awesome, so we are working at the shop, and it's dead right now. So we are gonna be working on some other projects. Now, this is one of my employees. Kristen says she's fighting with her brother, 770. <laughs> crafting machine problems, right? Sewing machines and stuff. So we are here. Um, we're going to be working, not sewing today, but I'm working on some other craft projects. Um, I made Allie a new stocking, so I'm going to put some heat transfer vinyl with her name on it. So I'll be working on that. Hi, Jesse. She says, what a great surprise. I know, really random. I told Amanda, let's go live. We're going to be at the shop working anyways. Why not? So I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker and Amanda is gonna be using the Silhouette Cameo 3. She has one at home, but I also bought one for the shop. And, well, let's say, we bought the Silhouette Cameo 4 first, and it was what? It was terrible. A hot mess. <laughs> so we returned it, and then I ended up buying the Silhouette Cameo 3, which is the older model, which Amanda has one at home for her personal use, and she loves it. And we just found that it's kind of like a better machine, in our opinion, from the Cameo 4. We found it kind of flimsy, and we could not get it to cut without cutting. It cut through the mat, right? It was just it wouldn't. Oh, cutting. it wasn't cutting all the way yeah. through. We adjusted all the settings, chose a ton of stuff, and it still wasn't working. So if you're new to my channel, check it out. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crafting video tutorials, sewing, quilting, gardening, cow milking, which some of you have been asking, Emma the cow is due on December 19th to have her third calf. So she's getting bigger and bigger and getting ready and ready. So I will definitely keep y'all uplo uh, uploaded, posted on that by uploading some videos and pictures on my Facebook page. You can find me under Crafty Gemini and then on Instagram also under Crafty Gemini. That's kind of the best way to stay up to date with my behind the scenes of what I'm working on with the quick Insta stories and stuff like that. Hi, Carla from Fort Lauderdale. Carla's on, awesome. She's from Fort Lauderdale. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to be working on this. Amanda, what are you working on? Um, I'm cutting interfacing for some bags that I'm making, but I'm using the Cameo to cut the interfacing. So if you're a bag maker, and I mean, I like cutting, so you're never going to really see me cutting anything on a machine. For me, it's like I like the measuring and the cutting of the templates. So she's cutting out the, the bag pieces themselves. It's, I'm cutting out the interfacing the Dura for so I don't have to cut the interfacing. So she's putting her, the Durafuse, if you follow me and you do my bag clubs, you know we love this stuff. It's a non-woven fusible interfacing that we sell in our shop called Durafuse. Kind of has like a crisp feel to it. Um, and so she's gonna put that on the mat and she's gonna cut it to the template. And you took like the PDF pattern. Yeah, I took the PDF and I put it onto the Cameo Silhouette program and I like deleted all the words and everything and just have the outline and then you put it on there, it's going to yeah, cut it perfect to yeah, size. Yeah, I have to cut it perfect to size. So we're going to watch her do that here. Wow. I have a little scrap piece of Caesar Easy Weed, which is my preferred heat transfer vinyl. A little scrap in aqua. I'm going to pick a cute font on my machine, and I'm going to put Allie's name on the top of this Christmas stocking. Okay? So that's what I'm working on. Let me see what questions. Some of you were asking, I think, like the Brother Scanning Cut or the Cricut. I have a Brother Scanning Cut, but a really old model, maybe four years old. Um, I have the Cricut Maker here, which is the latest one that they have out. Then we have the Silhouette Cameo 3. Those, we tried the Cameo 4. I bought it. We tried to use it. It was a disaster. We sent it back. So then I bought the old model, which is the Cameo 3, which still works great, right? Um, and so we did that. And I love the Cricut Maker. I've been cutting so much stuff on it. Super user-friendly, I think. And I paid for all these machines. I don't do any sponsorships like that with these companies. So I, uh buy all my stuff and try it out. So that's why I'm saying we bought the Cameo 4, didn't work well, I swapped it out and then, um, Caitlin's asking what spray are you using? Oh, this is. This is my favorite temporary spray adhesive. It's called, it's by Sulky and it's called KK2000. Now it looks like a little can, 
but this thing packs a punch. It's heavy, right? It has a lot in it and a little goes a long way. And it's, um, it's exclusively, it says non-flammable, non-toxic, odorless and clear, and it's ozone friendly. It has no CFCs or HCFCs. So this is the one that I prefer to use over something like a 505. I switched years ago and this is my preferred temporary spray adhesive. So that's what you sprayed on the back of the interfacing or you put it on the mat. Yeah, because the so mat's kind of old. <laughs> the mat is kind of old. So she says she uses the KK2000 to keep the interfacing kind of more stuck onto the mat so it holds it. And that way it doesn't drag right as it's cutting. Yeah. Cool. Usually if you're cutting fabric, you should use starch. But this is a little like... Papery. Papery. It's a, so, the Durafuse, yeah. And then you want to use a fabric blade. Yeah, so your that machine has a fabric blade. Yes. Yeah. Like the blue and the Cricut one has one too. It's here. It's like a rotary cutter blade. Is that one rotary cut? This one's not a rotary cutter. I thought it was, but okay. But it's you know read whatever the manufacturer's instructions say for the machine that you're using, which blade or what setup you need to have in order to cut fabric. All right. So I'm still looking for a cute font to pick out for Ali's name, and then we're gonna put this on the mat, and I'll show you how I load it up in the Cricut Maker, and then I have a couple T-shirts here. A friend of mine. I guess they maybe ran a sale recently at Joann's or something for t-shirts and she only needed one for her little girl so she went ahead and bought a size youth medium and a large and gave them to me for Allie and Jonathan so I thought these are kind of fun bright yellow t-shirts why don't I add some something to it uh, I don't know what sayings you know you can cut all kinds of cutesy designs for the heat transfer vinyl and turn these into some fun shirts that the kids can wear so that's another project for later today this is the mat that came with my Cricut Maker. I have used this thing, I mean, hundreds of times. Yeah, we used hundreds. a lot. And I still have not switched it. I haven't added anything to it. I'm still going to um, keep using it because it still sticks everything pretty good to it. And this is just a scrap piece. I'm going to put it here. So to figure out how big I wanted her name, and this heat transfer vinyl, you put it on the mat. Uh, it's going to be mirror image. So you want the color, the shiny side, face down onto the mat. So what I did here for the stocking was I took the measurement of the cuff part and then I know that I want the name to kind of fill in most of it. So I determined that I want to set my uh, the measurements of the actual font, like the name Alley on here um, to be about two inches tall by five inches wide. So you kind of just measure the space that you want it to go in. And I'm going to look for a cute font. And this is on the Cricut uh, design, like the Cricut.com slash design. You can buy fonts, you can pay for subscription. I don't do any of that stuff. I have a bunch of fonts already on my computer. So all I do when I select the fonts is check system. And that way just pulls up all the fonts that I have already on my computer system. And then I can uh, pick from those. Let's see, good morning from Pensacola. Hi neighbor. <laughs> Not really, but five hours away, still in the state, right? <laughs> um, love how detailed these explanations are, the font included. Well, thank you. Um, Karen's asking, does the Cricut work with an Apple computer? It sure does. This is my MacBook Pro and I got a case for it. You can see I started adding a couple stickers. It's new. So I told Amanda, you got to help me find some cute stuff to put on here because I want to fill it up. But yeah, this is my MacBook Pro. The Cricut Maker works fine on a Mac. I don't even plug it up directly because there's like a USB cord that you can use. I just connect by Bluetooth. And most all these cutting machines nowadays connect by Bluetooth. Um, I know I had a Sizzix Eclipse 2 that I recently gifted to a friend and we connected that one via Bluetooth also. So most all cutting machines will do that. All right. Good morning uh, from Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Hi, Karen. She says, wow, it looks so different from her old MacBook Pro. It's just that case is on it. It's the same old. They most all look the same. Hi, Christy. She says, hi from Gainesville on Millhopper. Girl, you're right down the street. <laughs> hi, Annette. Awesome. She says, great Sunday morning. Surprise seeing you. I'm surprised that we're on too, but I wanted to kind of going into the new year, getting the new house, doing more videos on all kinds of stuff that I do, right? Like now that we're going to have a brand new house with a ton of natural light, I'm going to be able to do more cooking tutorials. I'm setting up an outdoor kitchen, so I'll be cooking outside. The cows are about to have babies. I have three pregnant cows. One is due this week. One is due next month. <laughs> I'm going to be swimming in milk and butter. And then the other one is going to be due next year because she was just recently um, bred. But the garden is great. This is my favorite time of year to garden. I know a lot of you probably are under snow right now. Uh, we love to garden fall, winter, going into the spring. We can garden depending on what we grow here most all year round, right? Um, and so I have a bunch of greens and pretty calendula flowers and stuff growing in the garden. So that's awesome. Michelle's asking, do I make cheese? I do make cheese. We make ice cream. We make butter. We make yogurt. We make all the things. All right. It's going to be loud, though. Your thing is going to be loud? 
Yeah. That's one thing about this machine, though, right? The yeah. silhouette is louder than the cricket. That's okay. Go for it. All right. I'll try to get closer to talk to y'all. Hi, good morning, Kimberly from Houston, Texas. I haven't cut the dirt piece with this yet, only SF 101, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, adjust your blade depth, girl, because it is a little thicker than the um, than the fashion piece. Yeah, I have to figure out what setting I should put it on. I'm trying to find, I want kind of like a cutesy font, but not too flourishy. Like, because I don't want it to look All just right. like a really Should I do text looking. thick canvas or cotton print? That's more like a cotton print. It's just more stable, but yeah. it's not as thick as like canvas. linen and wool. No. I would not. All right. Fabric blade. Oh, it doesn't have it on there. Okay. And I wonder, the cameo still works with the with Max, right? Yeah. Yeah, it still works. I haven't hooked up mine since she has that machine at home. Whenever she comes in here to, you know, when we tried to do the cameo four that we used to have, I had her do it since she's more familiar with the silhouette stuff than I am. Let's see. And I'm sending it. Send it. <laughs> Hi from New Jersey. Hi, Ellen. Ooh, good morning from Apopka. Howdy, Florida neighbor. Somebody from Queens. I was born in Queens, my New York people. Hi, Lisa from Brooksville. That's not too far from here. Bettina from Tennessee tuning in. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of you. Awesome, awesome. So we're just working on some random little crafts here at my shop in Gainesville, Florida. I'm um, just about ready to pick a font to put Allie's name on this Christmas stocking that I made for her, an updated one this year. And I have some uh, two t-shirts here that we're probably wor working with different things. So I have some heat transfer vinyl here in this fun aqua color. That is what I'm gonna cut for the name. And Amanda's cutting some interfacing on her. She's working on some handbags. Hi, Mary from Destin. Let me see if... Uh, it takes time to kind of go through and pick the perfectest font. And I'm not going to do old school and go Comic Sans. Everybody's like, Comic no, Sans. No. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I was talking to somebody about that the other day. Right. It lifted, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, though. Because you're not in that area yet? Cool. Well, no, I already cut that piece. So. Oh, okay, okay. I have it set up because, like, I need two of this little setup. Yeah. And then there's one strap on there, so if I cut it twice, I have both straps. Okay. <laughs> and that mat is a 12 by 24? Yeah. Okay. Which makes sense for bigger projects or multiple pieces to fit it on that. I just have the 12 by 12 mats that came with my machine for now. Because um, I haven't worked on anything really big. What are the difference between the Cricut and the Silhouette if you're only able to get one? Um, I think the, the Silhouette... She likes the Silhouette better. There's more design <laughs> capabilities, okay? Because <laughs> it's more like techie, right? The yeah, you can thing? do so much more with the program than you can with the Cricut. And that whole that online thing, did they change that yet? No, they, um, oh, they made it now. Like before you could only design in the Cricut Maker Design Studio thing on their website. So a lot of people would say like they're working on orders that they need to get out. And like if the program would crash or like the internet, you know, like their side of it, because it was on a cloud, they would lose their designs. That's kind of terrible. Um, but now they made it so where you download it, you can have it on your computer, design in there, save it, and then when you're up on the internet or you're connecting to your machine, then you can do it like that. So they recently changed that. So right, your so interfacing nice. is cut. Yes. Are you serious? So these are worked out pretty good with this, actually. Yeah. So Not I bad. have to cut like 30 more of these now. <laughs> well, I mean, you can always, and this is the thing about having machines like this. If you do multiple different types of crafts, you can be sewing over here, surging some seams yeah. on something, have the machine cutting. When it stops, you pull it out, yeah. put something else on it, then keep going. And if you've watched my videos in the past about like embroidery machines or um, I, I'm a big fan of the standalone machines, right? If I have a sewing machine that also does embroidery capabilities, I can only do one or the other with it at a time. So I prefer to have a standalone embroidery machine so that it can be embroidery while I'm working on something else, you know, because otherwise it's, it's taken up. So let's see. Janice says, I had a silhouette and a maker. I much prefer the maker. I would say that the maker is like more user friendly for the everyday crafter that you can just like plug up and go. If you're more techie over here, want to like design and create your own different things and pull fonts and then like merge them all together and like really spend time in that design element part of the crafts, then the silhouette would probably be a better fit for you. But they both kind of do the same thing. I mean, yeah. you can cut the same types of stuff. You know, they have different blades and allow you to cut thicker stuff and everything. <laughs> Jen says, true. This is hence why I have four machines. Exactly. I think the Cricut is slower, too, with cutting. 
She thinks the cricket is slower with cutting too, even though we put it on fast mode. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we cut out the wash me wear me, it took me like half the time to do on the silhouette. Oh, okay. The so this one is faster. Um, and the cameo four was supposed to be even faster oh, than the mall, right? Oh, and gosh. it was we did not have a good experience at all. It feels. It, it felt together. cheapy. It yeah, felt flimsy. It felt so cheap. The way that the lid came, remember how it was? It was like it slid up, popped in. Oh, it was like weird. It just yeah. didn't feel like a quality machine to be the top, top of the line. And we could not get it to work. And I just was not going to deal with it. Um, I just returned it, got my money back, <laughs> and paid like $100 less and got the Cameo 3. She has it. She's had it for years. We know it works. You know, and we were seeing online in some of the groups that a lot of people were having problems with the Cameo 4. I just, I don't have time to be, you I know, think once they troubleshooting work, a brand yeah. new machine. I no. think they, when, once they work out the kinks and everything, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. And once they do the wider one, that'll, yeah, that'll that's be Yeah, nice. that big, like, yeah. professional one or whatever. Hi, Pat. Pat Armbrister's on. Um, Casey says, I have the Cameo 3, which I use for t-shirts and other projects. It's a great machine. Agreed. Agreed. Awesome. All right, let me see if I can pick this font so I can at least slide it into my Cricut Maker. You can see how easy it is to cut and weave. I think I'm just gonna have to go with something plain. Oh, this is kind of that's cute. Is what do you the think? Elf one? Yeah, I think so. Let me see what it's called. It says no. I this is one that I downloaded called "Give Me Some Sugar." Yeah, that's the one we use for the elves. Okay, good. It's cute. Can y'all see that? I'll show you in a minute after we cut. It's a little bit flourishy. It shouldn't be too hard to weed though because it's not that big. No, it's pretty easy. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Five inches wide, I said, by two inches tall. Perfect. I just type it into the width and height boxes, what I want it to be, like, proportionally. Super easy. And then I'm just going to put it right here. I'm not going to do a box around it because I'm just going to cut smaller. And then I click where it says make it. And this, this is why I say this is more user-friendly. It walks you through each step. So, like, now on the screen, I see the mat. I see the letters. But I have to click here to mirror it because when we're doing heat transfer vinyl, we're cutting it mirror image so we can peel the backing off of it, put it onto the whatever the project is, and then fuse it correctly. So I have to make sure to mirror it. So I did that. And then it shows me exactly where on the mat it's going to cut with the dimensions and everything. I make sure my scrap piece is at least that size or bigger, which it is. I'm going to hit continue. Now it's connecting via Bluetooth. So it's like finding the Cricut Maker that's next to it. And then it'll pop up here like this little arrow thing. It'll start blinking and that'll be like, perfect. It's time to load the mat. You put this in, you click the button, it loads the mat. And then it'll show up everything here. Like it just goes through step by step. And I will say one thing that I really found that I liked about this machine was when I took it out the box, it came like with a little envelope thing that said like, let's get you started with your first project. Then it was like, take this mat, take this blade, put it in here. Put this little scrap piece of cardstock in here. Press this. And it literally walked me through straight out of the box to make this cute little uh, card, a little kite card with a little cutout. And you use everything. We cut cardstock. It had me use the pens that drew something on there. Um, it had me cut fabric. So it did like a bunch of different things in one little project. And by then, by the time you were done with it, you were like, Wow, this machine is super easy to use. I can make a ton of stuff with it, okay? Mine came with the markers, but didn't give me an adapter for it, so I don't know. So I yours, say that again. It came, I came with it came with those little like pens, so you can do oh, uh -huh. and stuff. But it didn't come with it like. Oh, that's adapter, weird. So. Like to, to set it in. <laughs> so I haven't used them. Yeah, this one has like two bays here, like A and B for different things, and so you just follow along. All right, so here it says set material. I choose the everyday iron on for the Caesar Easy Weed, and it works perfectly. I literally have not had to adjust anything on this machine. All right, so. It's on, I see that it says mirror image on, and my arrows are blinking, telling me, hey, load your mat. So I load the mat, super easy. And then we'll wait for the next thing. I'm gonna put it on fast mode, even though Amanda says it's not that fast. <laughs> Slow mode. Stop, and now it says <laughs> press the flashing go button, and it's flashing here, so I hit it to go. So we're gonna let that cut, and then I'll show you how I weed it and put it onto my project. I don't have the iron or the press here. Hi, Carol from Cleveland. Tammy says, I have the Cameo one and it works great even though my cat pushed it off the table. Wow, <laughs> print and cut doesn't line up now. I'm, I bet that would definitely throw off the calibration stuff on it, you know? Oh yeah. But I'm amazed that it still cuts. 
Margaret says, I'm so grateful for your impromptu live. I'm recovering from foot surgery on my right foot and I can't sew right now. Oh my gosh, I hope you get better super soon. Hopefully everything went well and that you're enjoying chatting with us here today. Um, Pat is asking, will I be carrying more cutter supplies? Like what exactly do you mean? We have some sheets, some 12 inch by 12 inch sheets of the heat transfer vinyl. We have some, Amanda, do you wanna show back here? This is the Oracle 651. Uh, this is not heat transfer vinyl. This is, <laughs> hi Taylor, this is uh, permanent. Yeah, the 651. The 651, Oracle 651. So I'll show you an example of where we use that. These are mugs. My mother-in-law is probably not watching, but uh, the kids made this one for her. We're gonna mail it to her for Christmas. You're seeing it in reverse, I know, because we're on selfie mode, but it says blessed Nana with a little glitter pink heart. So we gotta wrap this mug up and send it to her and it can be washed and everything. We definitely recommend hand washing it, but I know people that put it in their dishwasher too. So. I put mine in the dishwasher by accident without thinking and some of my little guys came off. Oh, your little guys, the little things <laughs> <Yeah>. came off. <laughs> yeah, I hand wash everything. We don't have a dishwasher, so. <laughs> but little thingies like that. And this is, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a bronzy kind of metallic-y. Kimberly says she has the Cricut and the Brother Scan and Cut DX. She loves them both some different. So yeah, they're all going to have kind of their differences. It's good to research and get online, maybe watch some videos on YouTube and see what people tend to use each machine for. So you can see like if you tend to do more of this, then you know, the thicker stuff that you cut through, you might want to get one machine over the other if it does better for cutting thick stuff. Hi, Lisa. She says she wanted to buy one, but she had no idea anything about it. Well, I'm glad you're tuning in. It's not really a tutorial. This is kind of just an impromptu live. All right, so my thing is done, and it tells me here 100%. Now I unload the mat, I press the unload button, my mat comes out, I peel it off my mat. I'm gonna cut this. Now I'm gonna cut the vinyl, the purse vinyl with the machine. Let, give me a chunk of that purse vinyl so I can show it up close. So now she's gonna cut purse vinyl. This is not like it's this that I'm cutting. Marine vinyl. Marine vinyl. If you make handbags, look at this stuff. So she's gonna cut this on her, on. The Silhouette Cameo 3. I mean, it's it's thick. It's pliable, right? But it's still vinyl, vinyl. Yeah. And she makes a lot of handbags with this stuff, right? So you do yeah. it a lot. You cut a lot of it. So I switched to the... The like, Cameo the is made by cut. Silhouette, Carol. She was asking who made this. So you're switching to a deep cut blade. Yeah, and you have to kind of adjust the length of the blade, like, according to what you're using. So you kind of want to line it up so you know it's going to cut through. Okay. And this, so I like to do it a little more because if I cut through the mat, I'd rather cut the vinyl completely. Yeah. So that's what I did. Do you have it to a set number that you use for that marine vinyl or what? Um, I did, but I think I moved it and I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> so Take, we'll notes. <laughs> Take notes. Take notes. Take um, notes. Uh, Esther's asking, have you tried that with the Cricut? Not yet. Not yet because I haven't had to cut any marine vinyl on mine yet. <laughs> but you can cut pretty much all the same, th you know, the same things with these. With these machines. All right, so now I just cut around my letters and I'm going to use some tools here to weed this out. Now, I'm going to share a little tip with you. Some of the accessory things, especially when it comes to like Cricut or whatever other brands, they're all like proprietary and I mean like two tools will cost you like $15. I love my local Harbor Freight. So I buy a pack like this. They're called Five Piece Test Probe Set and they just have like different hooks on the end of it and they're all metal, they're super sharp, they're great, and I, this is what I use to weed. I wanna say these cost like $3.99, maybe four or $5, something like that crazy, but I bought a bunch of them. Then there was also the stainless steel, it's a six piece tweezer set. So for weeding all those little, and I'll show you what weeding is for those of you that maybe don't know. The letter, the name Alley has been cut out of here, but you can't see it because it's still a full sheet. So weeding is removing the excess of the heat transfer vinyl, to leave only exposed the letters that I'm gonna use in my actual project. So this is one of those from that probe set. So if you have a Harbor Freight near you, hit them up, cause all those little tools, you can get them for super cheap. So I just poked the hole in here on the white part. I like to do this flat, but I just wanna show you. Let me do a little bit and start to show you where the letters are. So I just peel away around the letters. Okay, and I'm peeling from the back side. And this is Caesar Easy Weed. This is, I would say, like industry standard, the best quality heat transfer vinyl. It's super easy to weed. 
We did make the mistake early on of buying some cheap like <laughs> Amazon heat transfer vinyl. OMG. Never again. You couldn't weed it. It wasn't we, cut. There were so many tiny places that... Where it just stayed hung up and it, we couldn't weed it. So like this, I mean, look how easy I can just like literally just pull. And it's not going to pull the letters with me, even though I have those kind of teensy little bits in the flourishy kind of letters. So this is the bomb. This is what we use. Okay, so now there's Allie. I just need to go in and take out the little parts of the inside of the A, of the E. Oops. See, my little pokey tools from Harbor Freight are the bomb. Where else? I have a little chunk here. All right, let's hope this works the first time. Go for it. <laughs> it's all about experimenting and trying new things. Because this is my machine. It's not the one that she uses at home. So at home, you have it all set up <laughs> to your settings and stuff. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick it on here. And then I will hit it with... It's going to be beautiful. It is going to be super cute. I it's kind of... my press. Yeah. My little one. Oh, the, oh you have... A, you have I a had like the Cricut Easy oh, Press. Oh, you do have the Cricut yeah. Easy Press. Girl. What? I can't be bothered with those things. <laughs> they just look like I can just use an iron. I have to like sit on it to get the right price. That's your secret. <laughs> it's not that heavy. Yeah, I put either. my knees on it on the like on the tile. That's too much. I rather just. Use I don't press. have space for that. Yeah, I know the press is kind of big, but see now I'm gonna stick it sticky side down. Fina's asking, "That's cute. What font is that?" It is called. What did I say it was called? Give, Give me, me some, some sugar. sugar. Give yeah. me some sugar. If you just do a Google search for give me some sugar font, you should find it and be able to download it. All right. Good morning from uh, Maryland. Awesome. The Cricut Air 2 is $1.99 now on their website. I don't, yeah, I don't, have you, have you ever used the Cricut Air 2, the Explorer ones? I haven't. I just got the Cricut Maker. I never even hear about, like, the other ones. The Explorer 2, yeah. There's well, because you know how it is. These... The portrait or whatever, no one ever talks about that machine. Yeah. <laughs> so. Because the people that use it, you know, we always, just like sewing machine people, upgrade, upgrade, get another machine, upgrade. They came out with this. We need this. We need that. <laughs> and everybody stays going up, up, up. I just got the Cricut Maker because I saw that it had that rotary cutting blade too. And it was the latest one. I just, whatever. It's looking good over there. Is it? <laughs> Your vinyl's cutting. So does it slow it down or you set the, the cut to slow? It slows it down. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. So the machine. The setting, I have it as leatherette. Okay, so they know that it's so the machine knows that it's like a thick type of something. Um, and so it slows down the cutting so that it can get through the thick stuff. That's and I do cool. two runs. Usually I don't, but. Like this, two runs in the same spot to make yes. sure that it cuts all the way through. Yeah. Is that what's recommended or you just do that? It's recommended, but some for the more intricate ones, I don't because then it will, they move. Yeah, they move on and, you and then, yeah. You, yeah. That's the thing when you got, when you have, and you have to think about it. This is not just like boom, boom, set it. The machine's going to do whatever. You have to think about what project you're working on. If it's a lot of like really intricate teensy little pieces, you got to yeah, so slow it down, yeah. make sure it's well attached. I'll do one run and then I will not move it but i will put adhesive on it again if i want to do a second run so yeah so it, it holds it again. steady yeah, yeah it makes sense um mary's asking did you make the headband that you have on i sure did it's my latest tutorial y'all it's called i call it like a curly hair wrap anybody can wear it but i did want to include the word curly there for people that do have curly hair and are looking for stuff to put their hair up um it's my latest free tutorial here on my youtube channel you can check it out and i show you how to make it it's super easy um, Lorray says, I absolutely love my silhouette, but silhouette cameo four came out this fall and cuts with more force than the Cricut maker has a rotary cutter. Plus I love the software. We were talking about this earlier. I bought the cameo four. We hated it. So I returned it and got the cameo three. So hopefully when they work out all the kinks on that machine, we could not get it to really work well. And the machine itself just felt like flimsier than the cameo three. I just returned it and got the cap and got the cameo three. All right, um, Caesar Easy Weed. Somebody was asking if the Caesar Easy Weed stuff is HTV. It is heat transfer vinyl. They make a ton of different vinyls, but the heat transfer vinyl I use is a Caesar. It's called Easy Weed. All right. Hi. Wow, it's late night in Indonesia. Nice machine, she says. Oh, Hello from Indonesia. Some friends in Indonesia. Yeah. All right. Latoy says, I just bought the Brothers Scan and Cut. Awesome. That one definitely has a scanner on it. 
That's the one, the main thing I would say that the brother scanning cut, you can scan stuff into mm. it and then it will cut that. Yeah, I have a scanner at home so I can do that with this little other part. Just, but separate, right? Yeah. So that's the difference I would say. That's the only machine so far that I know of that has a scanner built in. I've heard a lot of good things about the scanning cut. Yeah. Yeah, I have an older, an older model. It's back there, but. <clears throat> All right. So this I'm going to center it. I like that it's on a clear sheet so I can see exactly where I want to put it. Yeah, that looks cute. And I'm just going to leave it stuck on here because I don't have my press or the iron heated up yet. So I'm just going to set that aside. But you saw how easy it was to weed and do it. Um, Simone's asking about the font. The font that I used is called... Give me some sugar. Give me some sugar. <laughs> give me some sugar. So you could do a Google search. Just type in font, give me some sugar, and it should pop up for you. Did you want a donut? Yeah. Check them out. Oh. I brought you donuts. Thank you. So she can be happy for our live today. <laughs> I was like, girl, bring your smiling face for the live chat. Oh, There's one. So There's fancy. sprinkles. This is cinnamon sugar. That's like a regular one with glaze, and this is a strawberry. All right. I think I'm going to go cinnamon sugar. Go for it. This is from a local, it's, they're called Halo Potato Donuts here in town. The guy is doing awesome. I don't know him, but he's doing awesome. They start off like packed all the time, right? They start off with a food truck and now he opened up a location. So Halo Potato Donuts, shout out. Oh no. What is it doing? It went off the mat. Oh, on the edge. So how does that work? Cause you're using, so tell us a little bit. Amanda is using a cricket mat on a silhouette machine. I think I put it upside down. Oh. <laughs> so, but the other two are okay. So you can use this mat on the, um, like how is it that we can use the Cricut mats on the silhouette? Um, Any adjustments that need to be made with like the buffer of the actual screen or what? Uh, I always just put everything like a half inch down. Like you scoot it further in so that you make sure that it stays yeah, within. Okay. Because it does there's like about this much like difference between the mat sizes. Okay. So I just move it down a little so it doesn't go off yeah, like that. Like that. But I put it upside down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By accident. Interesting. But the silhouette, it's like the mats, they don't sell them like they sell the cricket ones. Like it's harder to find them like at Joann's and stuff. They don't have the same. Yeah. They're not the as readily available. Everywhere, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cric that's for sure. That's another thing that you can find anything you need for the cricket machines pretty much. I just like to play with gadgets, so I buy all the things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look. All right. Beautiful. Um, Pat's asking, will I be getting different colors of wax canvas? So right now we have a teensy bit left of that indigo color, which is like a rich navy, and then the berry color. I do want to order some more in probably in the new year for those of you that are local and come by the shop. Look at that. See, and then I can just put these, sew these onto the bag. And they, give me that thing, girl. And you just applique this on? Yeah, I just applique it. What? How legit is that, y'all? And these, what kind of bags are these? Some people might recognize these things. The World or, of Warcraft. World of Warcraft? I don't know anything about what this. What I do is Is that I, gaming stuff or is that a Yeah, movie? it's a game. It's a gaming thing. <laughs> Clearly, I, like I don't. I this on top of what it's going on so I can put it perfectly oh, on there. So you use the negative as your template yeah. positioning piece. Genius. And I glue stick these and then I like stick them in like that. And then and you then remove I Oh them my gosh. And then sew it on when it dries. Genius. And then she appliques this on. Look how thick it is. There's no way. I mean, I like cutting. There's no way I would be able to get these clean cuts out of anything. I know. That's why I love cutting it with the machine. Irene says, I'm moving to Gainesville. How do I find your shop? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> awesome. Just do a Google search for Crafty Gemini shop and you'll find us. Or if you know where Ward Supermarket is once you get here, <clears throat> we're right next door. But you can just Google Crafty Gemini shop in Gainesville and it'll pop up right on Google Maps for you and everything. All right, I have the Cricut that uses cartridges. Can I use them in my new Cricut that I'm getting for Christmas? You can, but it requires some type of separate adapter. I read that somewhere online because we have one too. We have a, what do we get? This was a Cricut Create that I got maybe 11 years ago and I gave it to my daughter. It's smaller. She does like little scrapbooking kind of stuff and it still works. But I did read somewhere online that if you have all those gajillion cartridges from back in the day, that there's some type of, adapter thing that you can use with it and I think don't quote me on this but I believe not the Cricut Maker but the other one the Air Explorer I believe I saw this somewhere that on it it has a little space for the cartridges so if you're getting an Air Explorer or whatever 
look into that because you may be able to put it right in, but I know the Cricut Maker doesn't have a spot for that, but I think you still can use it, okay? Uh, Susan's asking what machine is that? So that is a Silhouette Cameo 3, and this is the Cricut Maker. Could you have made that applique on the Cricut, Karen's asking? Absolutely. Um, probably if you get the right blade. Girl, stop it. You know I it could know. cut. I haven't used it. I haven't <laughs> used it. I don't want to say for sure. She swears by her Cameos. That's why I had to buy. I had to buy both because I have to play with both so I can see what, what's what. I just love it so much. She does love it so much. <laughs> All right. Um, that was Allie's. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Scraps. I'm going to work on something cute for my kids on these t-shirts. I wonder what I should do. Vicky says she's a gadget person too. Girl, we have to have all I the things. I love playing with all the machines. Yeah, I like that stuff. The only thing is that it takes time, right? You have to, especially when it comes into something like, we have laptops out to connect to these things. So like you design in one, put it, you know, so you gotta have some type of computer, basic computer skills. And so that's where I would say that I think the Cricut is more user friendly than the silhouette in that sense. If you're just like a plug and go type of person for your crafts, I mean, this is exactly what I did with this machine. All right, let's see. Um, this is the large. These are yellow. I don't know what their basketball team colors are, but maybe I can do, this could be like a warm up shirt for Allie for basketball season that starts now. So maybe I'll do that. Good morning from Citra. Holy smokes, we got neighbors, a bunch of Floridians in the house. Weather's nice and cool today. Let me check. Oh, well, I'm here like, let me check my phone. Clearly, I am broadcasting live from my phone. <laughs> Just, I got to pay attention in case my husband texts me a picture of the cow. I was like, send me play-by-play -play pictures. I do not want her to go into labor without me being there to film it. <laughs> so we'll see. Let's see. I know Annette says, we love new, bright, and shiny. I get distracted so easily. Me too, girl. I will have to agree. And the way that I justified is like, if I can make stuff with it, <laughs> then of course I'm gonna get it, right? Like I'm putting it to good use. I'm not spending a ton of money on something that's just like sitting on a wall somewhere. Like I can use this. So that's how I justify it. And then you don't feel guilty, like the mom guilt of like making stuff for yourself. It's like, I'm having fun, but it's okay because I'm making something for my children. <laughs> It's terrible the way that the brain works sometimes. I like being able to make everything myself because I don't want to buy anything. Okay, she's too cheap. She don't want to buy nothing. <laughs> well, and you're super creative. So like when you have an idea of what you want, yeah. you know, being able to create it is the bomb. That's like I could never find clothes I liked. So you now, make it all. Now I just make all the clothes I like. She does. She makes a ton of stuff. <clears throat> Look. actually fits. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Lysandra is asking, will you be doing some tutorials on the, oops, on the Cricut Maker? I have a new one and need some easy makes. Easy makes I could probably do. I mean, that's super quick and easy to do. I mean, like I said, these machines, a lot of them, right? I mean, they can do a lot of stuff, but if you're not wanting to get that deep into the design and coming up with a ton of stuff, they are super easy to do. Like there's, does the, the Cameo have built-in designs? Yeah, and then you can get like a subscription to their shop. So that's how Cricut does it too. You could do a subscription. I'm not about that life. No. I don't need to pay to have a million designs. I don't use it that much to have a need for all that, you know? I just go to Etsy. I scroll yeah. through the designs that I like <laughs> and I buy a bunch for like $3. Yep. Ta-da! <laughs> it is. And then you have the base stuff, right? You have shapes that you can use and then you can like create your own stuff. I ain't got time for that. I just want to make cute stuff quick. So... Wow, somebody from Algeria. Awesome, super awesome. <laughs> I'm, no, I don't think this one's gonna go too good. Phil says, I'm quilting, embroider machine is running, and she, he's watching the live. I love that, Phil. Dude, the perfect, that sounds like the perfect Sunday to me, okay? Ela's asking, you're a busy lady. When do you sleep? Believe it or not, <laughs> I have to sleep. I mean, I have to sleep eight to 10 hours every night. I have to, like there's no way around it. It's just, you know, prioritizing. And I'm one of those people where like, if I wanna do eight things and there's no time to do eight things, I will make the time to do eight things, even if I have to do the eight things super fast so I can fit all eight in. I'm just, you know. Oh, this one makes me nervous. Is it super complex? It's, this one's oh! super complex. <laughs> it's, it's like embroidery too. Sometimes you're like, ah, don't move. Is it working? 
is it not? And I'm cutting three out, so hopefully, like, at least two. Two are out good. of the three will come out <laughs> legit. We'll see, we'll see. But again, it's like those things, like, save your scraps, right? Run a scrap run through it. She, clearly. Do as I say, not as she does. No, <laughs> that is hilarious. She's like, no, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> like, people are like, make a muslin. I'm like, yeah, well, I feel like as you get better and get more experience, you know where you can wing things and not. Like, the Cameo 4, I mean, how much, how much vinyl did we waste? Yeah. Mm -mm. I was like, after like $20, $30 wasted of vinyl that were all messed up cuts and everything, I was like, I'm over it. Pack the box up. We're returning it. <laughs> after changing, I mean, all the yeah. settings on the machine, on the blade, on the computer, it was a nightmare. This vinyl is decently priced, so I'm not too worried. Yeah. You get a lot for like $8 from the place I get it. So. Oh, cool. All right. Um... Fina says that on the Cameo, you get a free design weekly, and she does, she, I just do the boost, not the subscription. Ah, I'm missing out on designs then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the info. Awesome. Hi, Jackie from South Africa. Oh, how awesome. Vaughn is knitting and watching us. Super fun. All right, let me see what I can find. There's some free SVG websites that I like to use sometimes because they have like the cutesy fonts and stuff. So let me see what kind of fresh little attitude uh, <laughs> design I could find here for Allie because that's totally her. Let's see. Is it cutting? I don't know if it's cutting all the way through Oh my yet. gosh. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh my God. I can't. I have to do like 12 of these bags, okay? Um, yeah, she makes and sells these handbags. I love the way that it cut those designs, yeah. though. And that's kind of begin like it's a little bit complex, this but one not is as super intricate. because like the game has like horde and alliance two different teams. So this one is one team and this is the other, but this is a more intricate design, like a lion. We shall wait for the big reveal, y'all, <laughs> and see what it's looking like. And, all right, <laughs> all right, let me see. And I like, um, I mean, most of the software programs will be similar where you can like save the projects that you've worked on before. So if I make a shirt for the kids and somebody likes it and I'm like, yeah, bring me a t-shirt, you know, I'll whip it up for you for like a friend or family member real quick. I can just pull it back up or like for a tote bag and I already have it set to the size for that same project. I love that I can just pull it back up instead of trying to start from scratch, recreating anything. All right. I do want to cancel the cut because I'm done with it. All right. It's not too loud. No, it's not actually. Good. Sometimes I'll go and take like a little exacto knife and cut and the finish little, cleaning yeah. the cuts of the yeah. I'm just gonna push this one part down. It's bothering me. Okay. You take the corners down just to help. Yeah, just because when the blade starts, sometimes it, it pushes, pushes it up. Okay. So you gotta find like all these little tricks and stuff and what works. Some people for you. cut without a mat, and I don't understand how that happens. What do you mean they cut? They just stick the vinyl in and cut. You're lying. No, I've seen the people no do way. rolls and rolls <laughs> of stuff without a mat. Oh, wait, I saw that on the silhouette. They yeah. cut, uh, it's off the roll and they cut. I have seen that. And I, but what I tried it to then? do it and it, it, <laughs> it was a mess. Was Research time. <laughs> Vicky said she wouldn't have wasted $40 on the vinyl. She would have stopped at 20 That's what I tried to do, but we were trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, right? It's a brand new machine, top of the line. Spent like how much was that line? Like three seventy something, three fifty or something. And then I was like, no, I need something. Especially when I had already had the maker that I just like plugged it up and went. I was like, no, we need to go to the Cameo Three, which she has and she knows how to use and she loves. So I was like, yeah, if we know that one works and it's been on the market for a long time, I'll just grab that one. It's so sturdy this one compared it to the other one. It feels more like there was this girl substantial, you in know. In the Celoid group on Facebook, who was like, who was like, oh, because I, I posted like, hey, you know, we played with the four. We didn't really like it. It felt so flimsy, like I was gonna break it every time I opened it. And she was like, oh my god, I felt the sample. I thought it was just a sample at the store. I didn't think it would actually feel that cheap. And that? I was like, yeah, it, it was like it the does. actual machine was like that. I'm not a fan. All right, so let's. Start here. Let me see what projects I've made in case I have. I think not on this. Um. What one did I make for Ali? The um. Do you remember the bag that I did? What did it say? Wild and free or something yeah, like that, something right? Like that, yeah. I think that would be cute for the shirt. Let me find it. I'm 
Help, help it, help it. <laughs> Watch your fingers, guys. Don't do what I do. I mean, there's so many different ways to get these SVG files. SVG is the format of the cut file format that the cutting machines read. Um, you can find them on Etsy. Sometimes I get bundles of like 20 different designs for like $5.99. So, let's see. Which one? And I should be a little bit more organized, but I do have a folder on my desktop for um, SVG, or what do I call it? I finally like went through and Did you organize, organize all my patterns for bags in one and clothing in another. Yeah. But I still have like so many patterns I own that I never put on my computer and I don't even know what I, what I have. That's the worst. When you're like rushed, you make the project once and then you just like don't even, like you, I have to slow or, down. Or like I buy a lot of bag patterns to for specific like needs and if it doesn't, fit right and I'm like uh and I never use it. Then so you I never have, used it. Yeah. Like all hard. these bag patterns I'm never gonna use. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm trying to find this fucking Oh my gosh. How scary. <laughs> well, I this it. is why it's fun. I don't know about fun. <laughs> but it is. Like living on the edge. I know. So I think I'm going to do this one. Wild and free. I've done this on a little tote bag for Allie in like a blue and a gold. I think I'm just going to do it in black on here, huh? What do you think? I don't feel like doing any multicolor stuff. Or let me see. <clears throat> I have scraps here. Let me see how the silver. Ooh. Do you have a little or purple would look knife somewhere? Um, No, but maybe the thin, the thin snips. Oh, cause you're trying to do it right on the mat. Yeah. Let me think. What do we have that could cut? Just clip it with scissors once you lift it like that. No, does it cut through good? Yeah, it's not too bad. Let me see what it looks like over here. But I don't know exactly. What it That's at home with my paper crafting supplies. <laughs> Purple. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do purple. Let's see if I have any uncut sheets here. I wish I could do a second pass. A second pass? That's scary. I'm I know sorry. it's gonna ruin everything, but it's not cut all the way through, so. So, what would you set it for next time, you think? The same. Oh, still? Yeah, because it's already like kind of cutting the mat. Oh, I see. It's just got that. You know what I think, too? It has to do with the, um, the fabric backing on it, right? Do you feel like that holds on more than the top layer of the vinyl? Like, um, stays cat caught a little bit more? I just think it has trouble with, like, the little corners. Yeah. Girl, who would cut that intricate of a design from vinyl? <laughs> I like to torture myself. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> that is not the crafting. kind of crafting I do. I need quickie <laughs> done. I like intricate puzzles I of crafting. I mean, I do, but not... Mm -mm. That's why not I'm when you have 12 of those bags to make. Huh? Well, you know, I made <laughs> two just as samples, and I ended up having to make 12 more. So I didn't plan on making 12 of them. Okay. It takes so long to sew this symbol onto the bag. Like, so long. You do zigzag stitch or straight stitch for the other Straight upper? stitch. And you just get really close? Yeah, I just stitch around the edges. Girl. All right, so I'm going to put shiny side down for this wild and free design. This is, again, he transfer vinyl. I'm just going to do it all in purple. That'll look super cute. Is it wind up right? What do you mean? Yeah, I just cut a scrap piece. But it's... It's this way. No, it's it's narrower and, and taller. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was going to load it like that. I don't know. I don't no. Know. <laughs> no, no. It's, I don't need it that wide, so I just cut a smaller chunk. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright. I'm gonna put this on my desktop so I can find it easier. Cricket.com slash design. New project. Put in my file, upload. And that's the thing that like the interface is super user friendly, it's just easy to use. Desktop. There. 
this. Continue. Um, I could do the top and the bottom frame in a different color. And I'm just going to do it all one color. It's not that serious. Save this. Okay. Insert the image. Let me adjust this. So now all I'm going to do, and there are like um, settings that you can use for like a typical youth size shirt or an adult size shirt. I like to tweak my own things. So this shirt is kind of a little bit big for her, I think like a loose, kind of just like a loose tee to wear with leggings. So I probably want this to be about nine inches over. And then let's see what it does proportionally because the design is already longer this way than it is wide. So nine for the width and it gives me 10 and a quarter for the, for the height going down and that's fine. I'm gonna select all of this, move the whole thing right to where I want it to cut. Looks good. <clears throat> I'm gonna make the blade a little deeper. Make it cut. Wild and free. And it's looking nine by ten. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying because I put it on the centimeter side. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so like that, I'm going to mirror it because we are working with heat transfer vinyl, duh, and everything looks good. Continue, so I'm going to load my map, and this is just a free file that I found online, and I just import it there, hit the measurements, I'm going to choose everyday iron on, put it to fast mode just to give it a little boost in speed, even though Amanda says it goes super slow. <laughs> It's slow if you're just like standing there watching it, but it's not that slow if you like you go do something else and you come out and you're like, oh, it's done. Mm. Stop. <laughs> All right. So let's load it. And fast mode, mirror image. I always check to make sure it's mirror image before I do it. Mirror image and it's off. Let it go. It's gonna start, calm down. And it tells you everything here, preparing, it says detecting tool, then it starts 1%, 2%, 3%, and walks you through the whole thing so you know when it's done. I mean, you would know when you looked at it, duh, it would stop, but it also walks you through everything on the screen, so that's kind of cool. See, it's just plug and go. That's the kind of quickie crafts I need. So then it looks like you went all out, and it was just like, I had an extra t-shirt, let me throw something on it. Easy, easy. Uh, Teresa says, can you use that machine for cutting out quilts? Are you able to put multiples of the design at a time? So this is something that I tell people a lot because when I was doing all the stuff with the brother scan and cut, which is a similar cutting machine, it just cuts one layer like these two other machines do. People would ask like, oh, can I cut out all my quilt projects from it? If you're working on one block at a time or applique pieces and things that you just need one piece cut at a time, yes. <clears throat> but if you're looking to like eliminate the cutting completely from a quilt project, and cut out 75 tumbler blocks, you're probably gonna want something that's like a die cutting machine like the um, AccuQuilt, the AccuQuilt Go, the Sizzix Big Shot, those kind of machines where you put the die, you layer up all your layers of fabric, you run it through the machine, either crank or the electrical version, and it cuts all these layers at once. That's the kind of machine for that kind of production style to cut more things at once. Otherwise, if I were to cut tumbler blocks on this, yes, you could use a 12, inch wide by 24 inch long mat, but only however many of the size of the block that you could fit on it would you be able to cut one layer and at a time. like fussy cutting, I don't cut the prints on it because I like to cut specific areas of the prints. Yeah. So that's another thing, that's why I don't, I don't do the fabric. You don't do it on there just like no. that, yeah. I mean, you could ideally, I guess. You could if it was like a repetitive, like. Exactly, so if it's a repeat, you can line it up exactly where you want it to fussy cut, but on the brother scan and cut, that is one option for that if you do a lot of fussy cutting because you can put the fabric on, put it into the machine scanned, then it will pull it up on the screen for you scanned out and you can move the shape or the block over top of where you want it to fussy cut. So because it has that scanner in it, that's an option for that too. But you could do that for these two, I'm sure. 
these days. They, See, things have I'm changed like, so much. I can't do it with a friend. I have to be in control of what I'm trying. Of what you're doing exactly, yeah. Because if it's a half inch off, you know, or something, or if it doesn't line up right and you're cutting like part of a character or something's head off, I'm not going to do that. No. <clears throat> there's a lot. I mean, there's so much. And these machines really, they do so much that unless you're hardcore into it, you're not going to be able to and really tap out yeah. all their capabilities. It's and like so much. you have to like super starch your fabric. Yeah. And that would take, I think it would take longer than cutting it. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's different, there's like um, material magic that a lot of people use. They kind of soak their fabric in that. It's like a super, super starch like high level starch it just makes it like paper so i know a lot of people do flowers and hats and things that stay structured and up with a product like that all right uh b wilson is asking will this video be available to watch later i have to leave absolutely this will just be posted on my youtube channel like a regular video if anybody wants to check it out feel free to do so my thing is cut i'm 100 done let's peel this off let's weed it this is good because then I'll have all these projects done that I can just set up my press and just ta-da! Merry Christmas. I'll have a ton of projects for these kids. <laughs> and we were talking earlier about weeding tools. I get these at Harbor Freight. They work great for these kinds of projects. And they're not like the brand of the companies or the machines or whatever. They're super cheap, very affordable, a lot of different shapes to help you get in those nooks and crannies. And these are tweezers. This is called the six-piece stainless steel tweezer set. And this one is a five-piece test probe set by Pittsburgh. And I get these at my local Harbor Freight. All right, so let's weed this one out. And this one is bigger. So it has a lot more weeding. But. And weeding, remember, for those that don't do these kind of cutting crafts or vinyl and stuff, is um, removing the excess from around the design. Should've done a square. I know, but it's so big. <laughs> I'd like to cut it to almost the size of the design, you know, the piece, so that I don't waste a ton. <clears throat> yeah, it's not that loud. Was the other one louder? I feel like the other one was louder. The four? I don't know. I think it depends on what you're cutting. Okay. Because this is not Maybe as loud as slow. cutting vinyl on there. Oh, okay. Maybe because it's going slower, too. Yeah, it's not like really low. Speed. Easy, easy. I mean, that's why they call this easy weed. Caesar easy weed. Love it. I was using not that the other day and it was driving me nuts weeding. <laughs> you heard what she said. I was using not that the other day. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, um, we, we, we learned not to buy the cheap Amazon heat transfer vinyl. But even like the it's Joanne, not worth I think it. I was using the Joanne's brand. And even I've that, heard like, nightmares about that. But too. it was super cheap, so I bought it. <laughs> yeah. This easy weed is just, I mean, I cannot stray away. Plus, it comes in a ton of different colors. Metallic and glitter, I mean all the stuff, you know. I like that they have prints too. They do have prints now too. Yeah. Oh, actually, where's that box? Can you pass me that box there? There's this company called Expressions Vinyl. I don't work with them or nothing. I just. Which one? The one, that one right there your hand is on with the plaid sticker, whatever. Yeah. So, um, I just, when I get into something, you know, I go all in. So I signed up for this subscription box. This was the November one or December one or whatever. And you pay, they send you like a mystery box of random. Did you see this yet? You haven't seen it? No. Oh my gosh, Girl, unboxing, unboxing time. Girl, this has been here. And so <laughs> they send me this box. I don't know how much it was, 35, $45, so cute. something like that. And it's a mystery. So it's just like the November mystery box. It has a list of what's included, what the size of everything is. And it's a mixture of HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl and then adhesive vinyl. So it's like different. Cool. So. Caesar Easy Weed and a Cadet Green. Somewhere in here. Surely one of these. Um, 12 by 12, 9 by 12, 12 by 15, 12 by 12, 12 by 24. So like there's transfer tape in here. There's buffalo plaid. That's cute. There's some florals. So it's like a, a holiday themed one. How cute is that glittery one? And so of course I can show this because it's November. This is old already. But I just signed up for the box and they sent it out to me last month. You know, just to check it out and kind of play around with some other stuff. And then the transfer tape is in here, I believe. I saw someone using that press and seal. Yeah, for transfer tape. Stuff. Yeah. Really? Did it work? Some people said like it leaves like a film and other people said it works great for them, so I don't huh. know. Weird. Like the Gladlock press and seal for transfer tape is what you would use because you know how when we're cutting on the heat transfer vinyl for shirts or for garments, like 
I say to mirror it so you can press it on. If you're doing it for the, the permanent one, you don't mirror it because you need to pick up the design face up with the transfer tape and then place it where you want it and then rub, 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 like with a brayer and stuff and then peel it back. The transfer tape is important. I, it is, right? I, I think I use, so. I buy it by the roll because... Like, I don't think it was the one that came with my Cricut machine that I use and like I made stickers when I first got it and now I can't peel the transfer tape off of them. Like after a certain amount of time, it just oh, sticks it forever. Stu oh no. <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, I made all these stickers that I can't use anymore. Oh no, that stuff, oh it stayed over yeah. time, yeah. So yeah, so it came with a bunch of these and I see transfer tape in here. And they tell you like the transfer tape is inside whatever, whatever. So this is a chunk of transfer tape inside this roll. But a bunch of, it's like a little sampler box to try out. And this was from yeah, Expressions cool. Vinyl. I've had some that. Star Wars ones. Yeah, we'll have to play with this girl. <laughs> and there's Aura Mask 813 in here. It says, it's another like masking uh, kind of transfer tape, I guess. It's rolled inside the permanent PSV Golden. So a bunch of different things. I thought it was kind of cool to check out. And for me to, you know, try out stuff they that's popular. Really good tutorials on they do Instagram. have, yeah. yeah. I follow them on Instagram too. It's called Expressions Vinyl. I've anybody learned a lot from them. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, you watch them too. Good. There's subscription boxes for legit everything these days. Look how easy it is to weed. Like, I can yank on this. On that cheap old vinyl that we had gotten from Amazon, it would, like, have taken half the design with it. And that's why it's not worth it. Like we say in Spanish, lo barato sale caro. <laughs> like the cheap stuff that you buy ends up being more expensive in the end. Yep. I guess it's kind of like the equivalent of you get what you pay for. Kind of a saying. That's such a Miami thing to say, lo barato sale caro. <laughs> Which is true. For the cheapos of us. I've learned that the hard way too over the years. <laughs> All right. So look how cute. So now you see, like, I have to pick out the little things inside the E, the this, the that, you know, and then you just go inside the and. There's a word and in here, but it's the negative of this little thing, so I'm going to take that off. All right. Let's see. Oh, they're having all kinds of conversations. A lot of people got the scanning cut up in here. Pat's asking if I carry the uh, Caesar Easy Weed, and if so, can that be used on T-shirts and cups? So the Caesar Easy Weed is a HTV. It's a heat transfer vinyl. This is used for fabrics, for the t-shirts, for hats, for little. I'll show y'all something else that we made here. These little elves that are like super hot right now. Amanda cut out with that same font that give me some sugar. The little name Elvis on here and then the date. And these were done, Pat, with the Caesar Easy Weed. We just ironed them on and it stuck. <laughs> Patricia says that's true. Lo barato sale caro. Yes, girl. You know how that is. <laughs> My Latin peeps. And this one, we put the name Pixie on it. And again, the year. So if you find cutesy stuffed animals, I don't go to Target much, but I know people die by Target. Um, they have like stuffed animals, right? They, I, I see it like online. People saying like, oh, they have like a dollar to three dollar section or oh, something. No, I don't go shopping. Yeah, clearly I don't shop either. <laughs> but if you do and you find cute stuffed animals and you have a cutting machine, I mean... How big of a piece of heat transfer vinyl did, you know, did we really use for that? Two inch by three inch scrap piece. And for here, like one inch by two inch, it's like nothing. So super easy, easy to do. Okay. And then uh, Janice is saying your wash me, wear me bags are the best. I'll show it briefly because <clears throat> this is for those of you that had already joined my bag of the month club for this year. We did these bags that are like for underwear for when you travel. There's two zippers. And it says, wash me on one side and wear me on the other. So you put like your clean underwear in one. And then as you wear them, you put them in the other so you can keep them separated. And so we did the heat transfer vinyl with these. Here's another sample. I know it's in reverse or mirror image for y'all because we're on selfie mode with the phone. But you get the idea. Wash me, wear me. Okay. With two pockets. So we did that for that also. And we sell the little wash me, wear me decals that we cut here at the shop. So people, when you make the pouches, you don't have to have the cutting machine. You can fuse it on yourself. So those have turned out great. A ton of people have gotten them and I've loved seeing all the pictures of y'all's bags. Let me finish doing this one so I can show you all. I'm telling you, these Harbor Freight tools, I literally just poke it and boom. I use my uh, seam ripper. <laughs> Your seam ripper? Yeah, the yeah. seam ripper works really good too for weeding. Cause I lost my little weeding tool. Now wait a minute. 
This is another thing. I like to have the design pulled up to make sure that I'm weeding the right thing. All right, I'm going to attempt this again. <laughs> Whew, girl, go for it. <laughs> but I'm going to make the blade the longest it can go. But see, this is what you get for not running test cuts, girl. Hey, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh -huh. You gotta be willing to, you know, to take, take a few risks sometimes. Take risks. This is true. I Jump mean, on in. And I see. I feel like a lot of people don't get that too about like sewing crafts They're in general. Like so scared to mess it up that they don't want to try. Or like to get to the level where you feel like you have a decent understanding of the the you know crafts like sewing or making stuff. You have wasted a lot of time, money, and fabric getting to that point, right? It's a lot of trial and error, which is really the best way to learn with these kinds of things. It's yeah. hands on. You make a mistake, and then you're like, I learned never again to do that. And that's how it works, y'all. Yep, you just keep making adjustments. Yep. Look how cute! Wild and free. If that is not my child, I don't know what it is. For sure. She's gonna like this. You can make a shirt where it's about how she loves bugs or whatever. Okay, with little critters? Yeah. <laughs> a spider crawling up her shoulder here. That'll be hot. Okay. She'll I'm like gonna it. make it go super slow. Okay. And see if that makes a difference. Go for it. Now for the heat transfer vinyl, you see how this clear sheet is sticky? It's totally repositionable. So ideally, I would fold this t-shirt in half, find the center down the middle, you know, and kind of put this on it. But I'm also the queen of eyeballing. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and so... I do with hemming too. I don't clip. I just I, like... Me neither. For the hem. As I go around. Y'all have seen me. It's like, turn it under about three quarters of an inch. I can like eyeball real good, but my hems are nice. Me too. I feel like, like visually I can see measurements good. Yeah, you know? me too. Comes with time. When you turn under things a quarter of an inch, 1,523 times, you can see yeah. a quarter inch from a mile away. Like I can literally, boom, Also, turn if you're it. lazy and you don't want to clip everything. <laughs> and you know it's not going to totally wreck your project. You go for it. Uh, how cute. Esther says her son just joined me. Um, so he's watching too. His name is Elijah. They uh. His name is Popeye, a.k.a. Elijah. How cute. Hey, Popeye. That's such a cute nickname. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi. Hi, Amy. That's all right. She says, I missed the first 65 minutes. How long have we been oh, on geez. here? <laughs> what? Just chatting and crafting, y'all. This is like a mom's night in. <laughs> look. I know you see a mirror image, y'all, but look how cute it's going to be for Ali's shirt. With some, like, purple glittery chucks or something. Sneakers. She oh, used yeah. to have them, but she outgrew them already, but still. Wild and free. Yeah, Amy, you can watch the replay. I was just going to say that. It'll be posted to my channel. Hi, Kathy. She says she just tuned in too. Holy smokes. We're just here at the shop. We're working. This is my team member, Amanda. We are working with uh, cutting machines and just crafts today. Not sewing, but working on other types of projects. Amanda's cutting, trying to cut <laughs> some marine vinyl on a silhouette cameo. Three over there. And I am working on... Um, some heat transfer vinyl projects. What was the other thing I did? Crooked. It's a little crooked. Girl, sh <laughs> I'm not gonna fuse it there, trust me. I was cutting out Allie's name to fuse with some heat transfer vinyl here to this new stocking that I made for her, updated stocking for this year. And then I cut her out this little thing that says wild and free out of heat transfer vinyl, just one color. Oh good, you guys are not seeing it backwards. Interesting, because we see it backwards on here. Maybe because I'm watching myself. That's so good, I'm glad to hear that, because I get that a lot. Uh, people are like, oh, the sewing machine is backwards. Is that a lefty sewing machine or whatever? When Aren't I do... all sewing machines lefties? Well, like this, but I guess they see it the other way, you know, like a mirror image. But how oh, cute. Allie's going to love that. Linda says, hi, Amanda. Glad to see you on a video. <laughs> Say hi to Linda Parsons. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so this will be super cute. And I usually will press this, especially like for a store-bought shirt like that. Sometimes they're kind of wrinkled. So just give it a press with an iron, or if you're using a press, press it so that you don't get uh, any um, like wrinkles underneath the vinyl when you go to fuse it, okay? Glenda says, I love that cut file. And it's just called Wild and Free Boho. Is If you type in Wild and Free Boho SVG free SVG file, I don't know where I found it, but I found it somewhere. So, and I put this on a, on a tote bag for her, so this is perfect. Isn't that cute? I love purple and yellow together. Me too. Complimentary. It sure is. Another thing is that like designs like this, 
there's so much going on and all I did it was cut it out of one color but because the font is different there's different sizes that you're playing with negative and positive of the color this little kind of border up top even in the one color it still looks amazing like there you don't have to go with a color for this a color for this a different one for here you know cutting all, all that vinyl so I really like that it still looks amazing even though it's cut out of one color so I'm gonna put this here. You start lettering colors, it gets complicated. Girl, yeah, I'm not, listen. I've been practicing. What did I say? <laughs> Quinky, click, go, and ready to make crap. I can't do that. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time sewing, okay? Like working on sewing projects that take longer. This kind of stuff is so easy to make, though. And you could put heat transfer vinyl on everything. Like, if you have, um, I've seen people do like little wooden ornaments, like, like a hang tag on a gift or whatever, and they use like a hair iron, like a flat iron. Oh yeah, you can use the flower. Yeah, to put it on there like with the heat. Like the small little things. Yeah. Like the, the little, little projects. Elves, they do the little elves with them. They do do the little elves like with that. With yeah. the hair straightener. And these guys, you can pick them up at the dollar store, y'all. Dollar Tree. They still a need dollar. to make them different colors. Man. I know. I was looking for some brown ones, but I couldn't find them anywhere. They all just came like this. Some boys, some girls, but... If you have a source for brown elves, let me know. Because... No, they're, they're doing a petition online. They I, like... I would like to find some, though. This one lady started like the colored elves revolution. Or I, we were like, how can we dye these? Yeah. <laughs> Soak them in coffee or something. A no. lot of people were doing like fabric markers. It wouldn't look cute forever. though. Yeah, whatever. They're still little cutesy elves. All right. Susan says, what a great way to dress up and show off projects. Yep. So Jesse's asking, do you put fabric between the iron and the iron? I on? do for certain fabrics. Yeah. For sure. I do too, it just depends. As long as my iron, I mean, I have an iron that I use for steaming and pressing like garments and it gets super hot. So if I'm using that iron and it's on the hottest setting, then I will buffer it with something in here because the, the plastic can melt, like if it's just too hot. Um, and depending on the heat transfer vinyl that you use, read the manufacturer's instructions to see what temperature it needs to be at. And oftentimes they'll tell you if you're using an iron, put it to this setting on the iron and then hold it for this long. Or if you're using a press, it'll tell you the temperature and for how many seconds. So just, you know, make sure that you read up on both the iron or the press that you're using and what heat transfer vinyl you're going to be using. These two, I have a press back here, like a heat press, so I will just press these later. These two, and let me see what I can find for Jonathan's t-shirt. This is looking better. Is it? Good. I think. Yeah, you took a deep breath. Let me see. I think I'm going to do black on this, black and gold. That'll be hot and see if I can find some cool basketball thing. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah. Oh, you know what it could be too? A New Orleans Saints kind of thing. It's not gold gold, but if I do black on it, I think it'll still look good. Hi, Manny. All the way from España. We got some Spanish friends in the house. Okay. <clears throat> we go to free SVG. Just a Google search, <laughs> basketball, and see what I can find. And I get some ideas, and I go to Etsy, either buy some or download some for free. It's a little bit of researching, but it's fun. Super fun. You can get so many designs for so cheap, too. There's one lady. For those of you that like sew and quilt and stuff, and you want to make, like for a secret sister gift, or you have a guild and you want to make somebody a fun t-shirt, uh, let me find you the name of this lady. She's also a fabric designer. She does amazing designs and they're like themed for every single thing. Her name is Tara Reed. And I actually chatted with her back and forth on Etsy. <laughs> like the movie star? Is that, is that a movie star? I don't know. Yeah. Tara Reed. Well, that's her name. <laughs> I don't know anybody. Ta it's called, her Etsy shop is Tara, T-A-R-A Reed, R-E-E-D Designs. And amazing stuff. And they're like themed. It's like a Christmas one, a this one, one for kids, one for and like animal. Like they're like categorized by theme, so you can check out a bunch of stuff. So let me look here: food, drinks, no sports, exercise. I love buying her stuff because I know they work. They're super cute and easy to weave. So let's see: basketball SVG, basketball mom. I'm the player your coach warned you about. Girl, my son would not know how to act if I made him a shirt like that. He made, <laughs> the kids made their own mugs and he made one. <laughs> I, I wish I had a picture to show it. Um, and so fresh and so cocky. It was like, pass me the ball. Like, like a <laughs> soccer ball one. And it was like, pass me the ball. Like I'm the guy. And I'm like, really? That's the design you want? He's like, yes. 
That's the one I want. He's like, that's what I feel like telling everybody. And I'm like, calm down. Um, so yeah. Arya's like gamer tag is Arya the pro. That's Five years old talking about she's a gamer pro. Okay. Because what was it? The champion of Smash Brothers didn't fit, or Arya the Incredible, or whatever she wanted. Hey, we're raising confident <laughs> kids. That's key in this society. She's okay? gonna be a pro gamer, man. Okay. She's good. I'm the player your coach warned you about. I could not. This would be so. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, I love it. Can I wear it every day? <laughs> Don't wear it until it's too small. Oh, it'll be too funny. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a little bit too confident for me. I'd be like, really? And you better deliver. Because they're going to be like, why are you wearing that shirt and you out here messing up? Let me see what else. She has like karate ones, volleyball ones. And these are like package designs. You get a bunch and they're like $5. Guys, there's a ton of designs online. So Tara Reed Designs is one of the ones I like to use. She has sewing, quilting crafts, all kind of running this is a personal trainer one karate taekwondo lacrosse i mean they're all themed let me look what else i can find basketball see if that's the only one she has for basketball that oh no you see there's like five different six different sets of basketball designs under thing um basketball legend life is better on the court these are cute all right I'm gonna buy this package because I know her stuff is on point. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna do that when life is better on the court. He'll like that. All right, we'll buy the Etsy design or the package. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's eight different basketball themed designs on the one that I'm getting. So I'm gonna check out with this. And this is really how I do it. Like when we did the kids' Halloween costumes and stuff, we downloaded, like we bought designs with webs and we added the, the kid, you know, we added web to like the hoodie of Ali Spider Gwen costume. Jonathan wanted to be Miles Morales Spider-Man, so we added all the designs. And so I just click, click, buy for a couple dollars. And that way you have the files if you ever need to make them again. <clears throat> so this bundle cost me four bucks. And sometimes the Etsy sellers, especially the ones that do these cut um, SVG file designs, they'll run sales. So if you just kind of pay attention to that, you will, can also save some bucks. I've, I've gotten in on some sales two all right so this has the one file um let me refresh download the file and then i'll just put it into the cricut design software thing right here download i found one that's cute it's pretty generic life is better on the court with a big basketball on it it's still um, cutting boo is it towards the end already yeah it's about to be <laughs> basketball legend i play basketball to stay sane these are cute i can't live without i can live without many things basketball isn't one of them okay life is better on the court that's the one and it's perfect because it can all be in black and it's gonna look super cute just relax breathe i'm nervous i, both that okay. I know that's why i was like Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> i totally space on the window thing look how cute life is better on the court with a basketball that's good look how cute that's legit Cute. He will totally want to wear that to practice this week for sure. I know him. I and that way, he buys. Linda is the one that made the your friend's fanny pack, I think. You think so? Oh, the one that she bought? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Fancy. All right. Um, basketball. Where? Where's my cricket thing? Cricket design. I must have closed the tab. Moment of truth. <laughs> It looks like it cut through. It though. looks like it cut better, for sure. Did it? Yeah. Stay away from intricate designs unless you're her. <laughs> like stuff like this is just too much for like a beginner. You're gonna be like, I don't want to do this anymore. But not all the projects. <gasps> are gonna be that I need my exact time. Right? I know. Um. You know what? Maybe try the teensy rotary blade. Just I need, press like, down a on tiny it. Tiny little. Because hmm. I have like one of those little white. I wonder what else. I know there's not anything here that will work. No. I should have brought mine. Or should have brought mine. And what if you use like a seam ripper and just... Oh, wait. What did we... Um, yeah, try one of those folding seam rippers and just... It needs to like, like run up the be one of those So you can press down on it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have an exacto here. Dang. Leave it stuck to the mat. Don't touch it till you get home. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, leave it. Don't mess with it. And the, people order more of this design than the other. 
Of course they would. Of course they would. Because when you look at the finished bag and it looks amazing, do you have it? Pull it up on your phone so we can show it here. Um, or maybe not because then people will place more orders. <laughs> no, I can't. Nope. She's like, no, she's like, I'm not taking any I more orders. I did pre-orders for them and ordered fabric for them. So she does custom them. stuff. Like custom bag. No. <laughs> I'm not about that life. You know that. <laughs> All right. Um, so fun. Okay, upload. We're going to bring this design in. Download basketball. Where is it? Life is better on the court. SVG. Got it. Let's see. Where do the pictures go? Right on my shop page. I'm just naming it so that I can more easily find it later on. All right. And then let me measure this shirt and see how big I want this to be. So this is going to be Jonathan's shirt. I'm just going to take some measurements, I think, for him, since it's kind of like a loose shirt for him to wear with basketball shorts, like a workout t-shirt. <clears throat> we'll do maybe like 10 inches. I could probably go all the way, 11 by 11. 10 by 11 and 9 and 3 eighths. That's good, because again, it's narrow, like a taller design. Can we show it? Yeah. I mean... She's not taking orders, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> but this is, I don't know that this is a gamer community anyways, but... These are the bags that Amanda makes. So the, the applique motifs are what she's cutting out of a different colored vinyl, but then the pockets and that kind of panel in the middle there is vinyl also. Okay. Yikes. So this is the one you're cutting, the lion one? Yes. Honey. <laughs> Look. Oh, I lost it there. Look how intricate that is. It's kind of glaring, but. Anyways, this is the one that I showed y'all earlier. Super cute. And this is called what? It's a World of Warcraft. I wanted to say Game of Thrones. You know, I don't know anything about <laughs> any of these things. They all sound like games or movies or books. I don't, I don't, games, I'm not into any of Games books are great. I'm not into any of that. Zero. But look, she says World of Warcraft. Yay! <laughs> That's her thing. So she, um, she makes bags for people on those. But how many do you have to make? Like 12? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. A lot. Yeah, I did a pre-order for them, so and then I She's like capped for, it for the alliance. What is that? Uh, for the horde. <laughs> <laughs> These gamer people. I don't know what any of this means. It's hilarious. It's a different language. So Jesse says, wow, super cool. Yeah, so she makes those bags. So that's what she's cutting out the vinyl, the applique. There's no way you'd be able to cut that out by hand. There's just, there's no way. People do. That's no way. Sarah from Joanne's, she cuts all her bags by hand and she, they're like incredible. They're crazy. Really? They're like, what does she cut them with? A tiny, tiny rotary cutter? Scissors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would lose it. Um, Antonia says to share your IG, please. Oh. Give the people your IG handle. <laughs> it's... Klista, K L I S T A R Creations. So Klista, like it's Klista. Klista. It's, like, it's a name I invented when I was like twelve. When you were twelve, oh <laughs> playing. My. She's Diablo. been a gamer. I was gonna say she's been a gamer her whole life. So K Klista. <laughs> so K L I S T A R mm -hmm. Creations. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Klista, Klis with a K, Klista Creations on Instagram. Check her out. She makes super cute stuff. Yep. Thank you. Antonia wrote it. She says, Kale Eclis Star Creations, like that. Yep, that's how you spell it. All right. Let me load. Oh, I'm cutting black, right? Is there a black sheet already cut out there, do you see? Mm. Of HTV, no? Uh, I don't know if it's... I think they're cut already. already. Cut, okay, yeah. let me cut one. Uh, I to cut more of that. There are a few. I didn't cut the second page that I made. The what page? Like another one of vinyl, you mean? Of the Durafuse. I have two files oh. for the Durafuse. Okay. And I didn't cut the second one. All right. I don't think this is... How's your donut, dude? It's good. It's pretty intense. They are. They're kind of... They're potato <laughs> donuts. I don't know what the recipe is, but he has all kinds of stuff in there. I mean, it's like a whole cake thing, it's, right? Like yeah, it's, it's like made out of potatoes. It has potato in it, I believe. I don't know the whole thing about the story behind it, but they're like the hottest thing. They went from a food truck and now they have like their own spot. So, so 11 and 9 and 3 eighths. Ooh, uh uh. I gotta turn it this way. Otherwise, we're gonna run off the mat, not have enough vinyl. So, I'm putting this shiny side down. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And I'm surprised how tacky this mat still is, even though we've used it a billion times. 
All right, load my mat. This is fun. I like doing these little projects for my kids. All right, life is better on the court. Jonathan's gonna love this. Let's select all, we're gonna attach them. If I select everything, and it depends on the design, sometimes they already come attached when you put them in, sometimes they're not. If I don't select it all and click attach at the bottom here, when I go to the next page for cutting, it will show me like, it'll make like the most efficient cut. So it'll move like the letters here, the basketball here, but I want it to cut since I'm doing it out of just one color, all proportional exactly how it's spaced in the finished design. So to do that, I select everything, I click attach, and now it like attaches it, so it kind of saves the memory of the spacing between all the different components of the design. Then I just click make it, which is great because then I can see it on the mat here and I can make sure that it's exactly how I want it to be. Oh, and it's a little bit bigger. Um, it's bigger than the size of the mat, so I must have not hit the right size. Oh, duh, 11.938, that's not gonna work. So let me go height-wise, I want it to be 11.5. Because it's only a 12 inch mat, so it's going to be nine and like, what is it? Like nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter this way by 11 inches down. That'll work good for me. Yeah, that's good. So again, select all. Okay, it's all attached. And then let me just move it to the corner so it doesn't waste too much. All right, make it. And then I'm going to mirror it because I'm using heat transfer vinyl. Right here, this little button mirrors, mirrors, beautiful. And looks like I have everything I need covered in my mat, just to make sure I have enough vinyl to cover the design. Continue, fast mode. <laughs> Turtle fast mode. And it's connecting Bluetooth. Oh, select my vinyl iron on. Fast mode and press my Cricut button. Bye -bye. All right, so that design is gonna cut now. Easy peasy. And after I'm done with this one, I think we're gonna call it a day. Yo, we've been on for almost an hour and a half. This was super fun though. It's like doing nothing, <laughs> chatting with y'all, answering some questions, saying hi to people from all over the world. You're gonna get a ton of new followers. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. And Glenn is asking, where did I get this file? I bought the, the, the basketball file from a designer called Tara, T-A-R-A, Read Designs on Etsy. Uh, she has awesome designs. And it's a bunch of them. What did I say, eight or nine of them for, like five, for $4. Cool. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Judy from Maryland. Antonia says, thank you for sharing your time today. This was fun. April says, I use my Wash Me, Wear Me as a baby bag. That's awesome. That's a great idea. For like cloth diapers. Karen says, I'm sure I will see her in my Facebook purse groups. Probably so. Uh, you probably see me. Yeah. <laughs> and she does a lot. What do they call those groups? Like she buys those stretch knit panels with funky oh, yeah. characters and stuff. So she makes a lot of garments and bags and hoodies and like clothes and stuff featuring those. Are you wearing leggings that have stuff on them? No. No. Okay. <laughs> she sometimes has leggings that have like these panels of these fun characters going down the sides and stuff. Yeah, backstitch fabrics. Yeah. <laughs> Mary says, this was fun chatting and learning, just like being all together in the room. And that was the idea, Mary. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. It's just us doing what we do. Wow. Uh, Julie says she watched your, my head wrap video. Super cool. Yeah, it's super fun and easy. And if you have a thin knit, this is like a rayon jersey blend. I didn't even hem it. Like, this is raw edge. So, and you can't even tell, like there's no even need to hem it. So just play around with the fabric that you have. You know, I like the double brush poly. Um, Jamie says she just joined my coworker's name. Amanda is her name. So yeah, check out my video tutorials. We plan to do more stuff like this, especially since we work at the shop every weekend. This yeah. will be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you want to see videos on this kind of stuff, like the Silhouette Cameo 3 that we have, um, the Cricut, quick, easy, crafty kind of designs, let me know in the comment section below and that way we can take it into consideration and see if we do more of this kind of stuff going forward, okay? Glenda, thanks for tuning in. She says that was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with this one, weed it and stick it on here and then uh, maybe I'll share a picture on my stories here or a post on my YouTube channel so you all can see once I fuse the HTV to the t-shirt and to the stocking designs that we worked on earlier. 
I will share what the finished ones look like. Oh, where's Allie's name for the stocking popped off? For those of you that are just tuning in, we were just, I was cutting stuff on the Cricut. I need to go ahead and press this with my press Allie's name to the top of the stocking here that I made for her. And then I cut her out this wild and free um, decal thing that I'm gonna put on her t-shirt here. And then I just cut out a basketball one for Jonathan to make him a quick t-shirt. These will be quickie Christmas gifts. And this is the basketball one that I need to weed out now. So thank you everybody who tuned in to join us. I'm glad you enjoyed this random impromptu live where we've been talking forever and a day. And we hope to see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right.